What up everybody, this is your boy with E-Rides and Explore. Today we're going to be doing a review on my Max 5, Max 4 Pro. I've been riding it about a month now, so I think I have a good idea of what's good and bad about it. So we're going to find a little hut here, and we're going to check out our board. What up everybody, welcome back. And today we're here with the Max 5, Max 4 Pro. This is my electric skateboard. This is what I've been riding around on showing you Mammy Springs, little places here and there that I've gone to. And we'll do some more exploring on it soon and coming soon. So what I would like to talk about today is the Max Fine 4, Max Fine, Max 4 Pro. It's a pretty good skateboard, actually. It's a nice budget board. You can find it for about $649. Um, if anybody's interested, you could go check out the link in my my YouTube channel there and you could get one you get a discount I think like a hundred dollars or fifty dollars off if you use my discount brings a pretty nice long board pretty typical board is very stiff is very little flex to it it has very little concave on it I kind of like that I'm not big on the concave I don't like how the sides dig into your feet so this has a little bit more of a flat surface on it it runs on 97 millimeter wheels so it's pretty nice for the, the road, and bumps and stuff like that makes it pretty simple. Now, the good thing about this board, what makes this board kind of unique and what I like about it, what attracted me to this board was, is the underside here. Now, what I liked about this here is that this is a DIY board. You could buy this set without the board. You could buy just the battery pack with the controller in it, with the hub motors and the front trucks in a box. It'll bring it all to you and you can put any board you want to it. The controller, the controller's really nice. It's your basic controller with a little spin knob on the top. It has an LSD screen on the front here. It tells you the battery charge, your board, the controller, how fast you're going, odometer. Pretty much just standard like every other board. And what I do like, it does use the Hobby Wing ECU on it. So it's very responsive, it's very nice and smooth. The braking's very smooth on it. I've had no problems with that whatsoever. The second thing that attracted me is that you can swap the battery out. And that was cool to me too. Um, I, I wanted to be able to go long range and not really worry about batteries and everything. Saying that on the battery, if you're gonna buy with a, one of these skateboards, I recommend you buy the standard version that comes with the regular 4.4 amp hour battery in it already and then upgrade to the 6.0 amp hour battery that you'll get longer range you just it's just a better battery because what they do is they sell it to you with the 4.4 and they opt you to buy extra 4x4 4, 4x4 4 amp hour batteries so you end up buying all these little batteries and you only get about eight miles out of them with the 6.0, you at least get a nice good 15 miles out of that. And then you have your backup with the one that standardly came with it. And you can, and you can switch them. It's, it's really simple to switch it. That's what I like about it. All you got to do is just to turn this knob right here. You turn the knob. And this comes right off. Pretty simple like that. I don't want to take it all the way off because I have it kind of sealed up for vibration and stuff. If you do buy this, the case on this bottom does vibrate. What I did was I took some Gorilla tape and just put it a little bit on the edges here. It tightened it all up and you don't get no more vibration sound. So Max Fine, if you're listening to this, maybe you want to work on that a little bit. Besides that, it's really good. And it's super simple to connect. There's two wires in and out, you connect it. You have some decent trucks. The trucks, tell you the truth, I don't have any problems with them. I've ridden a lot of, in, I used to use a lot of independent trucks on my other skateboards. And um, these turn really good. I, I new, nice, real smooth uh, rides on them. So they're, they're forged and they're cnc machines. So pretty much just as good as any other trucks out there. Just Max Fine wants to brand their own. Come with the hub motors already. There's 750 watt motors each, so you have a 1500 watts of motor. Uh, the top end speed specs is 26 miles an hour. You have a 26 miles an hour top end speed. And like I said, depending on the batteries you use, your range can vary and it depends on your weight. Like with me on it, I get up to 25. 
If somebody weighed about 150, 145 pounds, I'm pretty sure they could get this up to 28 miles an hour, with no problem whatsoever, maybe even 30. Uh, but with me on it, I'm a little heavy, so we get 25. That's good, I don't need to go any faster than that. Besides that, it's a really good board. I put some shred lights on it, so because I like riding at night, I have a little video here, you can see it, what they look like at night. All right. You know what? Let's go stop all this talking and let's go outside and, uh, well, we're outside already. Let's go out to the path here and um, show what it could do. Let's all right, everybody, we're on the path and we're going to do a little run test. Let's show you what speed one is, beginner, okay? We'll do it from a dead stop. Ready? Here we go. Dead stop. This is number one. You can see what number one looks like. Number one's really not that fast. This is like just for you to get used to the board. Does this thing. It's cool. Not that fun. Not that much fun though. All right. Let's stop. Let's go to number two. Ready? Here we go. Number two, eh? number two got a little bit more speed. Got some iguanas running by on me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, let me go. All right, number two. But <laughs> I can't do it because iguanas keep jumping in front of me. But this is number two for you. Number two is pretty nice. It got a pretty decent speed. That's full speed on number two. All right. I think I'm going to have to get into the street, guys, because I got too many iguanas running in front of me. Here we go. Number three, taking off. This is the mode. This is like sport. Number three is like sports mode. It's kind of what I ride around in most of the time. I kind of like it. It gets about a speed about 21 miles an hour, 20 to 21 miles an hour. I like it because it's kind of got nice control still over your board. Number three is picking up. It's full speed right there on number three. It's pretty good. It's nice and smooth. To come down, let's try the braking on number three. Show you how she brakes. Brakes really nice. Yeah, nice and smooth on number three. Let's try from number four. This is pro set. Here we go, guys. Taking off nice and smooth. Top speed here is 25 for me. It's on my weight. But this is pretty much full speed. What I like, she's very stable. It's a nice smooth ride. Alright, we're gonna check the brakes. Hopefully I don't have a car behind me. Ease off the brakes. Take a little turn here. Get out of the way. That was our braking on number four there. Overall, if you're really looking into buying a board and your first board and you're not sure what to get into, try to ride a bunch of different boards. See if you can find somebody who'll lend you a board to ride so you can get a feel for it. If you're an avid skater and you know what you like, then you just could ask, look at stats and stuff like that. She carves nice. You know, you could do some carving with her. She's more of a commuting type of skateboard. I use her to like ride around town and go to the store, go to my friend's house. With the Hobby Wing controller, you're really guaranteed a really nice smooth ride.
right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. Until next time.